So this is a demo of uh, Nice Curves uh, version one. Um, when you install the script in your script UI panels folder, uh, you'll get this um, little window which can be uh, docked uh, or not. It has one button, create curve. If you have a comp open, it will create a curve in that. If you don't have a comp, it will create one called Nice Curves. Click the button. You get this uh, quadrilateral shape with rounded corners. Um, now, uh, there are various options you can tune, um, so I just wanted to take you through those. You'll notice that three of the nulls that it creates are the same color, and one of them is a different color. On my system, this is blue and three um, orange ones. It depends how your labels are set up. If you don't see the same colors as me, maybe you want to go to your preferences and go to labels, and then you can adjust the labels there. I'm going to work on the basis that um, you you can see the same as me. So I'm going to refer to the blue null and the three orange ones. So um, the blue null is the master null. Now down here you'll see um, it's created the shape layer, NCO1, three control nulls and then NCO1 start. What it does is um, it will take all of the layers between the one marked start and the shape layer itself um, and it will use those as the vertices of the path that it creates. These layers don't have to be nulls, they can be anything. As you can see, you can put little, literally any um, layer in there and it will use that um, to control the vertices. There's many reasons why you might not want to do this. Um, it's an option, but you might not want to do it and I'll come to those reasons in a bit. As you can see, you can um, reorder the layers in any order you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you can call these ones anything you want. If you want to rename the um, path for any reason, you could call it hello. That will stop working until you rename the null at the top, hello, start, in which case it will come back. So it basically looks for whatever this is plus start. Um, and uh, you can create more curves if you want, and each one will be sequentially numbered so that um, this one, look, it looks for a, an NCO1, it didn't find one. So uh, in that case, it made an NCO1. If I just move this one down here, create another curve. The next one we called NCO2. The blue null has a bunch of um, controls on it. Um, I won't go through these all. Um, some of the bottom ones are fairly obvious. You can control the fill color, the fill opacity, all that kind of basic stuff to have to avoid you having to dive into the um, shape layer. Um, there is also a cage, which is this thin little red line, um, which just is there as an aid to help you if you've got a complicated shape and you're not quite sure which null is influencing which part of the shape. It can happen. In the um, promos that I've done for this, uh, as you can see, there are loads of nulls forming this um, these, these letters. So actually, in that situation, uh, it's quite useful to be able to see what's what. And there's a control on the blue null that will allow you to set the opacity of that cage to zero. The main two things you will want to um, use are the curve depth and the roundedness. I've put this little demo together to sort of show you what it's actually doing under the hood. My curve depth here is at 100. I put my roundedness to 50. Basically, the script will create midpoints and then it will look for um, where it can put those midpoints so that the um, handles can be an equal length uh, and they're an equal distance away from the null that is affecting them, controlling them. And you can affect the um, curve depth, which is how far along that line those vertices are. And the roundedness is how long the handles are. So generally around 50 seems to give the best results. You can set it to zero, in which case you get a kind of flat Beverly effect there. Um, sometimes for very, um, uh, very weird curves like this, where you might have you might, you might want that sort of effect. Two Bezier's can't really create a perfectly rounded um, curve there, so you might want to sort of up the roundedness value for that um, at that point. So a roundedness of like 66 and whatever looks best really. Um, there's also an effect midpoints um, checkbox or tick box. Um, going back to this uh, demo here, you can see these don't go further down that line than the halfway point. Um, 
and that is by design um, generally you don't want them to because um, like if you slide the curve depth up too much you get that weird kind of thing but if you have for example oh and also individual controls gives you individual control uh, from each null I'll come back to that one as well if you have um, a curve depth on here which is you know like that maybe you want sharp corners down here like that this curve could be bigger so then you have the option to affect the midpoints which basically drags the midpoint of this line down towards here and this will drag point drag the midpoint of this line so basically it means that this curve can get smoother and rounder because it can take up more of the available line um, influence uh, is 100 percent but can be uh, put down to zero and that basically slides um, the point um, down towards the center point of all of these vertices the sort of average um, point if you if you don't want this null to influence this at all you can just tick disabled or disable and um, it won't have any influence at all so you now you've now got the thing which just uses the um, three points there Paths can be open or closed. Um, by default, they're closed, but if they're open, then uh, you can make uh, open path shapes with that. So that's it. That is Nice Curves version one. Um, let me know if there are any features that you can think of that you'd really like in it, and I'll make sure that those are in the next version. Um, I do have plans to, um, if people like it and they find it useful, to put in presets and things like that, so it doesn't always generate the same kind of pinky red and, and blue shape with you know this setup so that it will remember the settings um, and you know put rounded ends and things like that and if, if that's what you want but yeah hope you find it useful